Pastors, community leaders, and law enforcement, they're asking the public to keep the peace this holiday weekend. They're concerned about tension in Asheville neighborhoods. News 13 Cheryl Barber is streaming live for us. Cheryl, gangs are among the groups they're asking to avoid violence. And they're calling on parents, grandparents, and family leaders to stop blaming police and take control of their children. We love our community, and we don't want our young people to die premature deaths for no reason. They gathered to announce a crusade to end the violent deaths of so many young people. What we are imploring our community to do, to come together and let's stop the violence. We need to take back our communities. Flanked by law enforcement, preachers, and community leaders, the president of the Ministerial Alliance told family leaders to ban violence. And if you got your child, your grandchildren, involved in illegal activity, you need to tell them to stop it because they're gonna end up in prison. That's what they want anyway, they want us to go to jail. This is how we could keep our children from being incarcerated or from being killed. Community leaders say that they're concerned about tension in Asheville neighborhoods this holiday weekend from recent murders such as the shooting death last month of 26-year-old Keith Morgan at Livingston Apartments. We did hear the chatter in the community that there were people going to try to retaliate um, for that murder. But that's not the answer. We got to stop the shooting. We got to, these are people's children. Asheville police say the investigation continues in Morgan's death, but they have no evidence of planned retaliations. West Asheville residents say they're encouraged by the Stop the Violence campaign. I think parents will listen and come out. They already are. We just need more. So. As long as we continue to fight the good fight, things will change. City council members and community leaders will be riding with the police tomorrow night to show support and respect for this police. The Ministerial Alliance will hold a follow-up meeting next week to plan their next steps to stop the violence. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.